Hey, what's up, guys? So, uh, here I'm standing here next to this beautiful piece of machinery, and uh, I got this this box in the mail today from Frontier Truck Parts. Now, uh, I don't know if you guys have ever done business with Frontier, but these guys are super cool. They're pretty knowledgeable. And you can give them real vague instructions like, hey man, I need some parts for this motor. And uh, they'll ask you some questions, and then they'll send you a pile of parts. Now, what we're hoping today, when I open this up, these are the correct parts. And uh, what they're supposed to be is a full set of push rods for a big cam. That's what those look like. And a full set of injector link rods for a big cam. And boy, that's what that looks like. So, uh, so far, score a thousand for the frontier truck parts. Let's open up these injectors. These are uh, doodaddies. And give them a look. I like that they uh, put it in the shrink wrapper. And uh, these things are in pretty nice shape. We'll scoop one out of the motor over there and give it a look. Now, this, uh, you know, I got a, the wrong head on this motor, and uh, we've already talked about the difference in port size. You know, I get four fingers in this one and only three fingers in that one, and you know, that's how we gauge port size. This is the existing link rod. It is uh, slightly longer, which I find very, very disturbing. But check this out. Check out the difference. Uh, so we're gonna figure it out. I don't. I personally don't think it's gonna make any difference because we're gonna set the lash on the. Uh, You know what? We don't care. We don't care. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Uh, we got to take, we got to put this jumper hose in here with some new O-rings. And uh, we're going to clean the top of the uh, cam followers. We're going to put the injector tubes or the uh, push tubes in. And we're going to hang on to those two things. I'm wondering why those are different. You know, it's okay. We're we're not concerned with it being a little bit different. Um, like I'm, I'm mildly concerned. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but I don't even know if this engine's going to run. It's supposed to. But I don't know. Let's just let's just be unconcerned with those minor details. All right, so I'm told that these push tubes are all different. Um, these are in really good shape. The ones I have are all rusty and pitted up. And there's supposedly some differences between uh, intake and exhaust and one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so these six are together. And then it looks like I would love to have a razor blade. Let's just use this. This old, uh, this old sawzall blade. Let's just hack and slash our way into the tape. Alright. So since these 12 are together, I'm going to assume that these are Intake and exhaust push rods. And since these six are together and they're bigger, I'm going to assume, yeah, those are, uh, those have a little bit different ends. So I'm going to assume those are injector. So 
Uh, I'm gonna get up in there. We'll do a little cleanup. It's super hard to see because, see, my dad put all the lights on the outside. On the outside, nothing down the center. And so, you know, this cab being up blocks all that light and the door being up blocks all that light. So uh, it's a little not user friendly. And of course, rather than do something about that, I, uh, I just have it. Fine. Here we go. That one close. All right. You just need a cooler for ice for the car, don't you? Yep. I think I've got a big one over there. I'll look when I go walk back over in a minute. All right. Okay. I think I'll figure out what to do. Get out of here, dude. All right, bro. Hey, I'm just, uh, I get ready to go to work. I'm just trying to knock these things out and be done with it. I'm going to try and get this motor running here today. Uh, I'm pretty sure what that cutlass was doing. I, I guess I'm going to like got to bring that Monte Carlo on in the morning. Man, I'll tell you, if that Monte Carlo's got good floor pans on that roof, it need to come off. It's if I have to have a roof skin, 350 bucks. Yeah, I'm going to put on yeah. I don't know who's going to do it for that, but I got a guy that I need to meet that guy. Well, I don't think he can. I'm scared. I'm scared of a lot of cars because of the roof skin. The that same. Dude, that no lie. I had that car completely parked and that roof skin still stood The 71 Nova I got at the land. The roof skin shot. I thought that there or what's his name over here? The one Todd told you about. Yeah. Told you take your shit to. Danny Ferguson. Yeah. yeah. He told me if I buy the roof skin and bring it to him a brand new car, he'd charge me 350 bucks to put it on. Now to do the whole quarter for the whole quarter on is yeah. six hundred dollars. Yeah, a quarter's kinda hard. So it's gonna cost me nine hundred dollars for him to do the panel, the roof and the quarter. But That's it's gonna get that car back to what it needs to be right. Okay, this one's got the uh got the bridges on it. And so got the uh I know it's going to take six of these bolts. It'll be two shorts, two longs. Get lots of longs and mediums. Okay, so this is a long. Okay, it looks like it is, I don't know what to deal with with that, but those are not right, but anyways, it looks like the two back ones are going to be longs. I gotta do this first. When the time comes. Let's change this light and we'll get that rocker box set. All right, so it's very awkward. 
very awkward on this box to be able to see what I'm doing. So we'll do what we can. And uh, but then for the next one, it'll be out here where this coolant pipe isn't. So you'll be able to see me do it a little better. But basically we're going to uh, take this rocker box and it goes, it goes down like this. And we're going to, uh, first things first, and get this stick out of there. And we're going to get this gasket put back in there. Like that. And then push rods they go like this like this like this and then these go like this okay so we try and hold these all up at the same time and uh, set it on there We'll see how well that works. So, uh, goes this way. Yep. Okay. This way, this way, this way. Okay. All right. And then it's just a matter of lining up rockers, right? Okay, so those are done. And uh, they're all pretty loose as far as it goes. Uh, that one was holding her up a little bit. This one's holding her up a little bit. Yep. This one was holding her up a little bit. That one wasn't. All right, so. So now guys, now that's done, let's move you over here and hopefully you can see better. I need to get a couple exhaust bridges and then we'll get a gasket and we'll get that rocker box on. Well, use them to fund your next adventure, bro. Well, I mean, I don't even know if that's a thing.
guys. So I'm gonna climb up in here. I jack the cab up a little higher. I'm gonna climb up in here and uh, get this front Jake brake housing off. And uh, you see where the socket is missing. Oh, there it is. Get this Jake housing off. Try not to fall out of the truck. Because that'd be embarrassing. Wouldn't be the first time. I don't know, man. Put it upstairs, I guess. So we're going to uh, take his valve cover off to start. And the idea here is All the rockers loose. Because we don't want to trust anybody else's time uh, valve adjustment. Because that's how you eat valves. You just take them all loose and you do it. Like you're supposed to, you can go through all of them. Here's one of those O-rings. I'm gonna put it right here on this bit. All right. Guys, don't let me forget to put that uh, oil fill cap back on. Be embarrassing to have that get ripped off in the fan. Oh, I see a set of sockets down there. Okay. Look at that. You know, it'd be nice if I could stick this to something up here. Ain't nothing metal. So that's it right there, I guess. Let's go we'll unhook the jig. Alright, there we go. This looks pretty good actually. Uh, is somebody out there? Yeah, there's a truck up here. What's it look like? Uh, they're city workers or something. Oh, okay. Like All right. workers. Yeah, it's fine. Alright. It's gonna take a deep three quarter. I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna come up with what I need. We'll see. We'll see. Let me go get it. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So uh, I'm back. The power came back on. So right now I'm just trying to look at how this. Uh, Jake happens. Um, might just be glued down. Looks like they put her down with some Permatex. Anaerobic sealer, if you will. <clears throat> you gotta be careful I don't step on the shifter. I guess these freight liners are pretty picky about. <clears throat> oh boy. Leave that gasket right on there. No sense taking a chance on losing it. Put this Jake, this Jake back here. Now I was going to leave the Jakes off and start it, but you know somewhere there's pressurized oil that gets to those Jakes, and uh, 
I don't want it to be spraying oil all over everything, maybe cause a fire. So we probably will put the jakes back on before we run it. I'm trying to, just hoping I could find a place to hook this, this light. Oops. It might be able to hook right there. And that's kind of cool. Um, we got a couple of these that don't turn. And so we're going to get on them with a, with a tool to make them turn. And hopefully we don't have to take this back off. I think there's two that don't turn. We'll get a wrench for those. And we'll get those all loosened up. And uh, then we'll get you over here. Get the accessory drive cleaned off. And... Uh, uh, see about that getting those marks lined up and then following the directions getting this valve train set um, you know seems like that goes right there it seems like that would be a lot nicer not having that thing hanging Here's. okay so uh, I don't know if I turned you off or if it just happened but you can see in there, you can see A and that line, and then across from the arrow. And so that's lined up on A. And uh, letter A, we have to look up. But A will be something like uh, intake one, exhaust five, injector three. And so I'm going to need a paint marker. Yeah, I need to read real quick to see which ones it is. Okay, so I got a marker. Okay, so there you go. Now, just happened. Okay, intake valves, intake valves 11 thousandths. The intake valves are the inner ones. Nope, those are injectors. What's that? That's middle. Inners and outers. There's inners, middles, and outers. What do you suppose that means? I have no idea. I thought that would be... Put your finger on something. <laughs> Inner this. or middle. Nope. Put your finger on the rockers. Middle. That's injector. There's an inner and outer. Inner. No, inner rocker, inner rocker. Those are those are rockers. That's, uh, 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 stop. Outer, outer. What? Outer. That's the outer. Inner. <laughs> this doesn't make sense. Put this thing between them. Okay, inners. Yeah, because there's one intake on the inner, and there's two exhausts, so those are the outers. The inners would be close together. Okay. All right, so we take this screwdriver. This number five? Yeah. This is the inner, and you put it on this. Okay, now watch. So when I turn this, whoops, when I turn this, see how that it, that is moving? In here. Um, right here. Oh. So put your, put your thing underneath that. Underneath that? Yep. Okay. Okay. Now, see how loose it is? Yeah. See how tight it is? Yeah. It needs to be about like that. Try it again. You got to keep, you got to keep doing it. Is there, there's some drag? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, then you got to hold this really good and then use this and tighten the nut. Now, so let me hold this for you. Hold this. Take this. Put it on there. I can't see this. My glasses are not on. Okay. Okay, so you gotta hold it like this so it doesn't turn. And then you gotta tighten this up. Okay, you got it? You got it. I'm coming up here with you, just so I can watch. And you might go, yeah. you might go like this. Take this light, make sure you yep, push rods in there. 
All right, now let me feel it. Oh, that's actually pretty good. This might be a skosh type. Mm, skosh type, but that's okay, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, might not be okay. Let's go ahead and back it off just a far, eh? Five and three. This one? Okay. Correct. All right, so that was A. Now, the next time we come, well, what did we do before, C? We tried to do C, and then it ended up going back to second A. All right, so the next time we do, uh, the next time we come up to C, we can actually do six. Okay, where's my light? Right here. Where, which one am I watching? Um, I'm just going to come to, um, actually, B, watch the valves on number four. Four. Tell me what happens. Oh, boy. Hmm. That's no good. What? Hard stop. Oh, forward moving. So what have we got, actually? We just did five and three. Well, the bad news is that something just hard stopped. Um, so I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say. Does two need to be loosened? This one needs to be loosened. You have it? No. Where's the three quarters? Over there. That's why I, don't, that's why I said don't touch that. <laughs> I was all the way open when that piston's trying to come up. Because we did that. We did that wrong. You see what happens is guys time it wrong and then they try and start it. And then it bends valves and shit. Man, that's really adjusted out far. Saves having a hell of a time timing it. I wonder if this uh, if this thing is off. What am I looking for? Nothing. Um, no, I'm just gonna see if that motor will turn all the way over or not. Nope. Motor locks up right there. And none of the valves are tight. Check them all. I can't see them. Check them out. Which one? Oh. This one doesn't move. Which one? No. Number five. The two inners don't move. And you don't need that little one. I know. I'm getting, I'm getting I was frustrated. Trying to hold it from you. Timing mark on B. When valves are on three are closed, set valves three and set injector six. But that's not right. This is not correct. And that's obvious that this is incorrect data. So we're going to go uh, NTC 350 valve. Yeah. Hey guys, so look, I was following the information on Barrington, which is this manual place online, and is 100% wrong. And I was hitting valves, and I'm like, what the hell's going on? So I called my buddy, Tony Martin. He's like an encyclopedia. Dude's brilliant. He's like, nope, that's wrong. Do this too, and it's going to work. So uh, they had us going, setting to A and adjusting number five valves, number two injector. Ah, wrong. When we go to A, if number one is bringing a valve up, we're going to do number six. We'll adjust number six uh, valves and number one injector. And then 
the next time we come up to A, we know that it's going to be lifting a valve on six. So we're going to adjust the uh, injector on six and the valves on one. It's really simple after it was explained to me by a professional. So anyways, let's get started. All right, so hop up there, babe. Hold on, let me plug it up. And then let's watch three and four. And you're going to have to, uh, you're going to have to like, look for whichever one is going to open a valve and I don't want to adjust these at all because so what you do is just put your fingers on these valves and then when you feel one come up uh we'll do the other one you ready nope <laughs> I'm not up there why don't you do this step step and in that's what I do and it works good step right foot step Left foot step, watch head, watch head. Put your hand right here. <laughs> it's because I'm not grabbing Keep that thing. <laughs> Keep duct. Duck, duck, goose. Uh, All right, let's make this happen. Where's the screwdriver? Oh, let's it's behind me. Let's make this happening. I'll get that screwdriver for you. You can just get ready. Oh. All right, so you're going to put your hands right on uh, these, these valves right Wait, here. Wait, he said 14 and 27? Yeah. God damn it. Don't worry about it. Okay. Yes, let's worry about it. Damn it. One we're doing. <laughs> okay? Okay. We're on C, right? Well, we're going to be. I'm going to be approaching C now. Okay. Which one's moving? Um, so the, uh, uh, what is the inside? Three and, uh, listen. Well, four Three, is moving, listen. I guess. The inside of four. We're not worried about the injector. We're talking about the valves when you have your fingers on. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, because you didn't say middle. You said inner. Yeah. Okay, so as I come to C, we're going to do three, right? So you just keep watching four, closing that valve. Yep, it's moving it open. I'm looking for the C right now. I may have passed it. Might be rusty. Okay. And so number three. Okay. Right? Yes. Okay, there it is. Alright, so we're gonna adjust we're gonna adjust the the valves on three. On four. Correct. And yep, I'll do that. I'll do this all the way to you. Oh. That's three. Wow. We're doing this one on four. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's okay, I got you. And this is not going to work because of the injector rod. Oh, that's the you. one you got slapped, you said? No, because it's the push rod. Ah. Ooh. It's going to bleed in a minute. It sure is. Just the top layer of skin, no biggie. Yeah. First level of defense, it's fine. Oh, it did take it up. Look at that! Okay. Okay, that's weird. I'm not going to complain. Okay, that's zero lash. And then we're going to do these valves, right? Correct. Where's the screwdriver? In my pants. In your pants pocket. Okay, <laughs> not even my pocket. Put the, uh, the, put the thing in there. Um, which, the bigger one's the outside, yes? That's one. Babe. What's which in the which one of these is the intake? The the middle one. Okay, so then that would be the the least. Middle one. Yep. Well, that's what I said. Did okay, you put your yeah. put your thing in there. Hold on. Oh my god. Okay. And is that the fourteen? Yep. yep. Okay. Oh, it's tight now. Yeah, this one is making. I can't do it. Okay. That's good. Perfect. That's good. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Don't take it out of there, okay? Oh, I already took it out of there. Those wiggle and loosen themselves? Yep. Mm. Let's see. Check 
Okay, good. Let's do the other one. Okay. So, uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen. I'm going to let the light pad down a little bit so I can control the shifter. I'm going to go up a little bit. Take, go and take that breaker bar off the front of the motor. Yep. You're in. Okay. Okay, got them both? Don't say okay until you're out of there. Water. Watch your head. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put up the safety catch. I'm gonna let this down. Not all the way, obviously, because of light. Because of that light, that poor light. The light will not hold the truck up. <laughs> just want to make sure that the truck's not in gear. And that tells me the truck's not in gear. I need to check the oil before we get going crazy. When it starts, I want to shut it right off. I want it to run, run, one, two, three, shut it off. No. Yep. Go ahead. So just to make sure, I push the button until it starts. Yep. Count to three and turn it off. Yeah, till it starts. Hold it. We may not have any fuel. Oh boy. Hold up. Uh, yeah, it's blowing fuel all over everything. Somewhere I don't have something plugged in. Uh, Okay, I've uh, never, never messed with the covers before, so I'm just wasn't sure where the fuel lines were, but I see a couple that are unhooked right there. Um, I don't know where they go. Uh, so don't, you just turn the key off and chill out for a little bit while I try to figure this, this dog out. It's definitely pumping fuel. I just don't know where it's supposed to be going. Got me? You can come out of there probably. Because this wasn't a rear head. It doesn't have any fittings here. What does that head have? Does that head have fittings? Be careful, that thing's super heavy. What are those right there? Yeah, those are fittings. We gotta take those fittings out, put them in this head. Give me an Allen wrench. Uh, 316. Bring me the American Allen wrench. And then of course the American just come out. And then why would they? Tools are always land where you least expect them to be. 
everywhere. Never would have guessed it was coming. I just thought it was screwing me completely. All right, give me those fittings. Coming. There you go, sir. That's a that's a Sunday, maybe. Be careful with the door. Okay. Yeah. You gotta make it stop. <laughs> careful, baby. Alright, now before we get too crazy, let me just take a peek between those heads. You know, just, the heads are so close together that <laughs> it's gonna leak, but it's gonna spray. So I should be able to see it. Hopefully it doesn't become a fire. If it does, I hope the house insurance is paid up. Okay, key on. Crank it up. <laughs> Well, this should shut her down. Uh, okay, guys, let me make sure we're still recording. Now we're going to start it back up. Oh, my God. Yep. I'll put this over it, so don't shut it off right away. I'll put this over it if I need it to shut down. There's a little bit of a, of a big oil leak. So let me look at that first. <laughs> What is this? Um, okay, come come and help me find it. Oh, yep, very careful. Oh, you know what? This is a, this is no big deal. Okay. This is a turbo feed line, so we'll just stick it in the return line. And uh, except for we can't, so we're just gonna get a tub. We're not gonna run it long. Shouldn't say that. Come on, Candy, get ready. Tighten up, <laughs> as JJ the boss would say. Tighten up, Candy. All right, that bungee cord will keep that on. I will, uh, let's see what part of the town up.
I'm super excited about that actually. Oh, I just broke that can, that brand new can of cleaner is gone. Put it on the left. Head. Huh? Gonna hit his head. Yep. Okay. Hey, what's up, guys? So I'm standing here next to this gorgeous piece of machinery, and I'm thinking to myself, what a day. So we uh, put the head on, the wrong head. We have the wrong head on this motor, put the wrong head on. Uh, we set the valves wrong. We hit some pistons to, into some valves. Luckily, I was just turning it over by hand and uh, called called Tony Martin. Dude's like an encyclopedia. Five seconds on the phone with him, he had me straightened out. We went through and set the set the valves. You saw Jessica up there working hard, and uh, then you just saw it happen. This old girl, uh, even though even though half the motor's off. We don't have any jakes on, we don't have turbo on, no exhaust manifolds. Thing shot a, a geyser, hopefully you got that on there. Geyser of oil out the center. And uh, I didn't see any fuel leaking. So uh, there it is. That's it for today, guys. I'm super bushed. Big day tomorrow, got to take bucket to get the uh, get the uh, Durndo firewall between the flight deck and the fuel cell done. And then, uh, then it's going to be working on bucket for a day or so. Take it to the racetrack. I get to get those 60s down where they belong, so I can school janitor. You know, I can't even. I can't believe he accepted the call out because he should have known better. Anyway, I'm not going to get into that. I see a big oil leak under there. I'm going to pull a little oil dry. I'm going in the house. It's late. Show him outside, babe. We never work till zero dark thirty, ever. But this was important. Candy wanted her motor running. Uh, there's more to come. Thanks, guys. Don't forget to like. You know, leave a comment down below. Click that little bell icon. The like is the very most important. Click that. Tell your friends. We'll see you.